What is going on guys? I am busy BTD or busy by the day and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own channel art or YouTube banner whatever you want to call it. So let's go right into this video and the apps you will need today are YouTube or not YouTube sorry I'm reading off my app thing. You're going to need PS Touch and Fonto. Those are the only apps you will need. Then, first of all, you want to go to Safari and look up YouTube banner template. The first thing that's going to pop up is probably going to be this one right here. This is the one you would like to choose. Once you have done that, go ahead and choose like HD or oopsies, HD material background. And it doesn't matter what size it is, so I already have my picture picked out. So just choose something like this or whatever picture you would like. You can always do any of them. So let's go right into Photoshop. Let's don't save this. Let's make one. So what you're going to want to do is go to 2560 by 1440. And then you want to click OK. Pretty simple. See this layers button in the bottom right corner with the two pieces of paper and the plus mark. You want to click that. Then go click that plus mark in the bottom right again. It'll say photo layer. You want to just click on that. Then you'll see photo library, camera, creative cloud, clipboard. And you want to click on photo library. And you're going to want to click your text, or your text, but your banner template that you chose. And you're going to just size it right up. And the way to size it, like I just did, I will show you in a second. There we go. You just want to lock the aspect ratio, so it's going to be like this to start out. Just want to click on the middle one, and then you can do what I just did. Then you're going to want to click on that layers button again. Click plus again. Go to photo layer, photo library. And I, on mine, I use the galaxy background right there. But we're going to use this material one right here. And you just want to go, want to go ahead and size this one up too let me just fix this real quick i'm having a bit trouble right there there we go and it is sized up perfectly then what you want to what you want to go and do is click the layers button again and then see these little circles in the top right or top left corner of your little pictures you want to click on them and that will hide the image let me just do that again there you go and what you're going to want to do is go to photo layer, photo library, and click the exact same picture. So now what you're going to want to do is see this little middle part where it's the template where it's going to be. You will just want to size that right up like that. And don't be, like not don't be shy, but don't be afraid if you go over it like I just did. It automatically sizes it up for you. But let me fix that a little bit. I think I sized it up pretty bad. Let's do that. There we go. That's perfect. And then you're going to want to unhide this by clicking on it again. And I usually prefer to make my images black and white like that. Or, yep, that. there we go. Then go like that. And that's always up to you guys. So I'm going to not make these black and white. So let's just undo that real quick oopsies there there we go all right so now you have your picture what you're gonna want to do is click done and save your project it's gonna take a couple seconds and then you're gonna want to click this button right here go to save to camera roll and then go to PNG instead of JPEG and click on the photo you do want then go OK so now that your picture is saved, you're going to want to go right into Fonto. And now once you're in Fonto, you want to click this little camera right down below. Go to Photo Albums. And you're going to want to go to your camera roll. And you want to pick the photo that you just made. So now you have that. And so just add whatever you want. Like, I'll use some random font like Luckiest Guy. I'll put my name and so i'm not going to make this like a crazy background or anything because i'm not going to use it and to make your thing look really cool what you want to do is go to your text do style create color pattern and it gives you this one which is probably the nicest one you can do but one that would fit this one pretty well 
would go blue, make it a light blue, go probably no, lighter gray or black. I'd go probably like, oopsies, did not mean to do that guys. I would go like that. Then you want to click on stroke, make the alpha one, make this a little bit thicker, go style, do that type of shading. And look at that, it makes your text look really cool. And then you can add what, like whatever you want, put some random things on there. And then once you're done, you can go save the image, go out of Fonto, go into YouTube. I don't want to like go onto my channel so I don't mess anything up. But that's all you guys really need to do to create your own channel art. It's very simple, very easy. It's one of the easier things to make. And I will be making a tutorial if you guys do want it on how to make your own YouTube logo like mine. And if you guys do want to see that video, drop a like down below and comment down below what you guys do want to see me do in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.